What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Andrew. I'm currently right here at the ship waiting in line to get loaded. They didn't load us yesterday, but they're going to load us today. And it looks like uh, it's only one person ahead of us. So uh, we're heading to the West Coast. A lot of y'all want to know, Andrew, are you going to California because of the live video you did yesterday? No, I'm not on the way to California. If you guys want to know, uh, I'm not heading to California. But I'm heading west. And when I say west, I'm just mean west of where I'm at right now. Right now, I'm basically in Memphis, Tennessee, and I'm heading to west. West does not mean California. West just could possibly mean Texas. So I'm just heading west. That's it. But, um, you know, a lot of you guys want to know, Andrew, um, I want to go out and get a pneumatic tanker because I've been watching YouTube stories. We see the type of rates that you haul for, and we think if we go out and get a pneumatic tanker that we're going to get the exact same rates. And um, uh, I think a lot of you guys are missing the entire picture, okay? So just to give you an idea, I understand you guys are shopping for trailers, but it's a lot of other things you guys want to shop for too. So let me remind you, you need a truck. You need a blower. You need a trailer. You need an authority. You got to be a motor carrier. You're going to need some insurance, BOC3, or uh, whatever else comes with that, license plates. You're going to need all of that. That's a lot of money right there of itself. Okay? And then a lot of you guys, uh, you got to finance a lot of this stuff. Uh, you got to finance a blower, unless you guys just got to. Uh, I really wouldn't, if you're not already in the game, I wouldn't recommend uh, trying to just, even if you got the cash, I wouldn't just go out and try to buy everything all cash like I did if you're not already in the game because that's too much of a financial risk because it's like you're going to spend all this money thinking that you're going to get the money that I'm making, but you like it's, it's so much stuff that you're missing, so many pieces of the puzzle that you're missing you don't understand that i got my own customers when i was in the oil field you saw my name on the door and i had my own customers there's people in the oil field right now they own a truck trailer and everything and they leased on to a company they don't even know they don't even know how to go direct with the in the oil field so what made you think you're gonna know how to go direct out here it's people they don't know they, they don't know how to go direct with a driver or a reefer they don't know how to find the customer most of the people out here this 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 Got the ability to do it on YouTube that's got a truck, got a trailer. Just need the authority and some insurance. They say, hey, man, uh, a lot of these people, they want multiple trucks, multiple trailers. They ain't figured it out. Me. Um, the excuse they give me is is because I do tanker and it's specialized and it, it don't work that way with dry van. But if I had a dry van, uh, these, if I had, okay, right here, this right here is my direct customer right in front of me, right? If I had a drive-in, I'd be getting loaded right there with them other drive -in. Let me just flip the camera. Ooh. So I'm getting loaded in here, right? If I had a drive-in, I'd be getting loaded right here. And guess who I call? The same people I call over here is the same people I call over there. Okay? See how that works? Wait a minute. See them lease trucks over there to the left getting loaded? You see that? This is the competition right here. Let's look at the competition. The competition... They all chromed out over here, the competition. And we ain't got, we ain't made it that far yet. The competition all chromed out. And one day we may get there. Oh, wait a minute, we got some our flat top. And wait a minute, hold on now. Now look at the competition coming through with the FLD, with the old school, with the hopper. Look, look, now look at the hopper. Look at the FLD 120 flat top. Look at them coming through. Now you just seen the hopper. You didn't see the pneumatic, you didn't see the drive in. The same way he got the, 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 the same number he called for the hopper load, the same number I called for this pneumatic load, the same number they called for them drive in loads. But did you make the phone call? Did you send out any emails? I've been talking about sending out emails and phone calls for a couple of months now. You ain't made not one phone call, so what do you, what, I'm confused. Of course you're not, you can't get your own shipper. The male fee is Andrew. If I get my own shipper, I'm stuck. They gonna inspect the load, you know, they gonna inspect you every day. Every day you gotta make them satisfied. In, in some cases, I guess that could be true. That ain't true whatsoever in my case. If I don't show up, it's probably because I'm on some other load. Uh, this is my company. This ain't they company. 
I work when I feel like it. I don't own no equipment. Not them. They didn't they didn't do not now a piece of work to get this equipment. So it's more so of I'll let you know when I'll be there. That's how it work. Yeah, I'ma let you know. When we make this phone call, I'll let you know if I could do it or not. I didn't agree to, to haul no 40 loads or uh, in a month. Nah, everything is one load at a time. That's it. That's as far as I go. I don't I nah, hell no. Nah. Now now we can negotiate a week worth of work or a month worth of work. We can do that. And then uh fulfill the service, but no, nah, I didn't sign no contract talking about I was gonna be here a whole year and just just me only, just nonstop. No, nah, no, nah, that ain't how it work. Maybe some contracts are like that, I don't know. Um and when we say contracts, it's just a vendor packet. All it is is you just offering your service. So instead of them calling the broker, giving the broker the fucking list of loads for the week, they just call me and give me the list and tell me the correct prices. And I say, you know what? I'll take this load right there on Tuesday going over there for the 12000 or the eighteen, or the $40,000. Uh, that, that's just pretty much it. That's it. It's just, I could be a broker. I should be a broker. I don't have the license. If I was a broker, if, if I was a broker, I'd be doing damn good if you ask me. I'd be doing a lot better than some of the brokers out there. I've been fucking with them. Mario called yesterday. Mario called yesterday. And he's still trying to pay the 5900 Mario. Your time running out now. You can see now. now what's today? It made my phone freeze. Now, Mario, today is the 27th. Now, you done called again. I don't understand why you don't go up on the price because uh, at this point, I don't even run for 5900 that, that, That's like an insult right there, Mario. That's, that's, come on now. Come on, Mario. I'm, I'm just saying now. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Mario got to come up on the read. The only reason Mario got me to run for 5900 which was a, it, it was a, it was a good rate at that time. It was my very first load out the oil field. I don't know, 500 miles, however many miles from San Antonio to St. Louis, whatever that is, 5900 okay. I guess it was a good rate at the time. You can't give me the run like that no more. Oh, oh. Nah, 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 can't, can't do it. Nah, I can't do it. Boy, it's hot down the motherfucker in here. Let me tell you, it's about a good 100 degrees in here. Now, I turned off the truck and turned the AC off just to do this video. You know what I'm talking about? And I got the windows up, but it's hot down the motherfucker. So, we got to end this video real shortly. Now, I'm trying to tell you guys. Now, before you go out and invest this money in this horrible trucking market, uh, just take the equipment that you already got and see how you can get, maximize the income, you know, if you got a dry van or a reefer or a flatbed, the first step is to figure out how you can cut people out of the money that you already making, man. If you're giving a carrier 30%, well, start right there. How can you get 30% back in your pocket? Figure that part out. Most people are in truck and they even figure that part out. Dang! They had to carry at least stone 70, 30, 80, 20, 65, whatever number is left right there, okay? Figure that part out right there. Some people ain't figured that out. Yeah, it sound good coming out their mouth. Well, yeah, if I got my own authority, I can get 100% or 95 or least drivers say it's 95, 93. They ain't figured. Like I said, man. Okay, now you know the, you know the steps to take. Now take, take them. But Andrew, I got I got a quote back here with 40,000. Okay. Okay, that's one one quote. Okay. Call some more people. Call some more people. Every, every time you pick up the phone and call an insurance agent, you're going to get a different number. So I, I keep calling. Keep calling. Now, I only owe Progressive one more payment. Now, a lot of y'all read the lease on, and we really are making money over here. We really are making money, but uh, I may be able to lease you guys on with them dry vans and them reefers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I may, no, you ain't got to go get you no pneumatic tanker. Nah, keep what you got right there. Uh, and you just need to be the broker. That's all. Yeah, because I already know how to find the shippers. I just need to be the broker. You can lease on to me. And yeah, yeah, so I can start charging out here. Yeah, because they already paying. It's just the suit and tie guys are just taking all the money from you. That's all it's good. They, the, the, the shippers is already paying. They just, you just ain't getting the money. 
That's how that is. They've been paying you. You just ain't getting the money. Yeah, yeah, you ain't getting the money. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, you want a 90-10 split at the carrier, but the broker already took 30 off the top, so is it really 90-10? That's all I'm saying. Um, I'm finna get on up out of here before I die up in this truck. I'm not good with the heat. So, uh, it looks like maybe I'm finna get loaded here in a second. We had one truck uh, fell off, couldn't make it to the shipper due to some uh, trailer issues. So it's actually only three of us now instead of four. Um, so that's what we have with that. YouTube stories, catch me going down in the state. And remember, figure out how you can get more of your money, okay? Trucking is too bad to be giving people 30 and 40% of your money. You know, I had an issue with that. Um, I had an issue. Let me keep talking for no reason. I had an issue with that. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, they asked me over here, hey, man, how many how many pneumatic trucks can you get? So I was, shit, I called everybody I knew with a pneumatic. And, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, not everybody's least on to me. So, you know, I told everybody I knew with a pneumatic trailer they could possibly, possibly, they could ask for permission from their carrier to ride with us. But, uh, man, man, when I start hearing, hearing about, you know, uh, the boss man got to get his cut. Man, uh, man, uh, I don't really like that, man. Oh, no. Boss man didn't find this. No, nah, boss man ain't. He didn't find these shippers. He and boss man ain't, ain't did nothing. No, we no, we can't give boss man nothing. No, we can't. Boss man don't deserve nothing. Boss man need to be doing what I'm doing for you. I mean, I'm saying that now. If y'all ain't doing good as a carrier already, boss man need to be doing what I'm doing. I'm, I'm making phone calls, sending the emails. Boss man can do the same thing too. Yeah, or, or, or you know, just get Andrew. And when we hire it. No, we hire him, but we're not really hiring. I can hire you, but I'm not really hiring because I'm scared to hire a lot of people because uh, shit can get crazy. You know, <laughs> I need staff to handle more of the back office, really the invoice and the paperwork because that wrapped up. They say, hey, hey, when you got your own authority, it's a lot of paperwork. It really is a lot of paperwork when you're making a lot of money. 